the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Listen, listen. Everybody say friendship. friendship. Say it, friendship. friendship. This is the first step to entering a relationship. You can't come and meet a perfect stranger because of your unbelieving roommate did it. You just saw one, one, one lady who just came in 100 level in her innocence. Her mother told her, when you go here, yeah, don't do now. The guy just came to threaten her. And the lay out of fear, she just said, oh yeah, yes. Because she doesn't know what to have. You too, you were inspired by that testimony. You now got up and met a Christian sister who has been hearing the word. You just come and meet her. Say, I want to marry you. Pray about it. What is wrong with you? Eh, your father did it. So what? Change. See, listen. If your wife is your best friend, that naturally tells you that the probability of finding her among your friends is very high. Correct? The best friend is the best among friends. Is that true? Some of you, you don't have friends. This is what makes the sister know that you are ready to enter a relationship. You don't work with anybody. You don't greet anybody. In Suddenly, ah, after miracle service, you have said Romeo around worship team. You, you don't greet anybody. You are not in any group. After prayer, band finishes praying, you just turn. You are, you, you are always alone. You are talking alone as if you are out of your mind. When the sister starts seeing you near, she is even afraid. She doesn't know whether you are fine or not. Something wrong with this brother? Does he need counseling? You must be friendly. Are you listening to me? Listen. Guys, let me give you a big secret. If you can make a lady laugh genuinely and sincerely, you have taken some good steps into that journey. I give you a tip that will work for you. Hallelujah. Don't carry your boring boring life. Your roommates should test run whether you are sociable or not. They are always running away from you. Ah! Flog it in your room first before you go and disgrace yourself. To one lady. You are in love. You are pretending like you are not in love. You are just boning your face and coming to the girl. You say, can I see you? The girl say, I'm busy. Come now, you yourself. Be friends. One of the best ways of being friends is join a department. Join a department. One of the benefits of a department is that it will help your social life. Is that true? The worship team are so so. If you see them, you'll be amazed. They love one another. Some of them were not like that when they started. Is that true? The ushers, ushers, are you there? They love themselves. Who do you love? Who loves you? You don't know. When you enter, when see service in the house of God is a big helper to take you out of inferiority and complex. They'll tell you lead prayer. Now you lead prayer. And when you lead prayer, ah, after the prayer meeting, Tyro says, Wow, that was nice. Oh, pure sisterly love, no strings attached. You too, you are happy. You didn't know how to do it. Now you can watch Aaron do it. You are you are learning. Who will know that you don't know? Tomorrow now you come, they say, oh, go on another. You are making progress. Are you making progress? It's not like you are, you join the department with the intention to marry the lady. But you are becoming sociable. It's giving them an opportunity to see your sincere heart. Is that true? One day the lady comes late, you stand up for her. Ah, ah. She says, wow, that was so kind. You are learning. You are reducing your journey, you don't know. Some of you come from nowhere. You see people who have been functioning, they are taking their time. 
you think you have the spirit of you just run from nowhere they don't know you you have no history you just came for koinonia twice you think you want a wife you just come and carry anybody we won't give you our ladies like that come and sit down share the word of god we want to be sure of the kinds of things our ladies uh, you they can't be praying in tongues you come with your babylon for wherever because you did talking for two weeks you think it's enough to carry them no sir they are not that cheap hallelujah entering into a relationship take time to build friendship see not friendship for the purpose of relationship be a free person be happy with people are you listening to me and ladies there are some of you you are not helping yourself make sure when brother smile and greet you you just say he likes me Abba, you are in a church what kind of insecurity is that a brother smiles at you he just hugs you you go back and say i've been watching it's a lie it's a lie please this guy is pressing into god it's a lie don't blackmail him he loves god you just see a brother like you and the next thing you start becoming edgy and funny everybody say friendship so aaron begins to be friends maybe from department or something it may be in the same department it may be in the different department you know you are just serving in the house of god genuinely it gives room for the sincerity of your heart to be tested are you listening to me you are consistent in the body of christ at least the lady sees you you are a face that they know around she knows what you are hearing you know what she's hearing is, is somebody hearing what i'm saying very important never go out with a guy who you don't know who is feeding him and you don't know what is entering his head hallelujah praise the lord the second thing is seek counsel seek counsel many people think this is an act of immaturity many of you do not know look at me brothers let me give you a secret if you don't respect us these ladies respect us are you listening to me by the time you start meandering around them they will call us they will say sorry oh this guy has been roaming around not to be presumptuous and you you think you are playing smartness every time you see us you will claim as if the lady is this and that while the lady has already told us and you'll be disgracing yourself hallelujah very important seek counsel there is nothing wrong we are not demons you can ask pastor jake there are times that he comes to tell me ah so so and so so person this guy likes this person you can even see me jumping i'm saying yeah our people are entering good relationships there are some relationships when we hear you have entered we start crying we start crying you don't know the guy but we we know him hallelujah please seek counsel seek counsel don't seek counsel from unbelievers who tell you just try oh there is an age where guys will be coming oh you will get to an age nobody will come oh just try uh -uh. hallelujah when you are entering into a relationship friendship friendship now that does not mean you cannot sit i know of stories of perfect strangers that they call it what they call it love at first sight i don't know what probability of it works in nigeria in nigeria hallelujah praise the lord seek counsel and then bless you sir. the next step is listen go to god and I, I want to talk a bit here about the concept of the will of God. Look up, please. As a brother, you love God. You are not a prophet. You are not an apostle. You are just a sincere believer who loves God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And now you see Matilda. You've been looking at her and truly, oh, genuine love, not lost. If you find out that what is wrong with you is loss, come for counseling, not relationship. Counseling. We won't condemn you, but we'll help you. Genuine love, sincere love. Now you are looking at Matilda. Ah, ah. You've sought counsel. You go to God in prayer. Listen, listen. Now I want to correct a very erroneous concept about what people call hearing God. How many of you have heard what they call vision, seeing vision? 
that has put a lot of brothers under pressure. Please and please. The vision in Joel 2 was not women. Is that clear? Don't you brothers, please. I deliver you from any heart attack you want to give yourself. To force yourself to dream dreams and see visions. There is nothing wrong. The Bible says God is at work in us both to will. Hallelujah. I love God. My heart is sincere. Are you following me now? Now Aaron sees Matilda. And you just say, oh, did you have a vision? It has made a lot of brothers to come with stories about their concept of the will of God. Because they know that if they, that's the gate pass into your life. So they, they've tried and tried. They just say, oh yeah, talk. God told me, please open the gate for me to enter. Be careful. God shows people visions. You don't see vision for any area of your life. When it comes to relationship, you suddenly become a prophet. Who sent you? Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? They, don't be embarrassed. Ah, ah. The other day, you saw Rose. And ah, when you saw Rose, even you, you wouldn't lie. You were praying. The prayer point just disappeared. You cannot even know what I was saying again. And it was sincere. Ah, you try to say myself, behave, please. I'm in the presence of God. You were trying to look at Pastor Jake. You were seeing Rose again. Ah, something is happening. Don't feel embarrassed. Are you hearing me, brothers? Don't feel embarrassed. The only thing is check it. Don't be foolish. Some of you, if you see that to you, that's God said. Uh-uh. That's not God said. Because there are some brothers that what is happening to you is just infatuation. Ah, you saw this lady's hair. And wow, you are smiling. One day you see her coming out of Ribadu in the morning. She has not taken her bath. You just hear and say, ah, is that the girl I saw? Ah, I've changed my mind though. And you want to marry her. She will be pregnant though. Don't forget. Help us, Holy Spirit. Is somebody getting blessed tonight? If God shows you a vision, if you are sitting and you just see Abigail, C21. Is that how I now, Ribadu? Ribadu is your wife. You just say, Yes, Lord. Abigail, where are you? Better come. Don't stop my destiny. You don't do that. The, but listen, the Bible says, and Mary kept these things to herself. And you come, you can come to Pastor Jakes and say, Sir, this is what I saw about this guy. Because I saw this about this guy. I saw this guy ab about the lady. They can be able to help you. Are you listening to me? Don't just take initiative on the strength of your vision alone. Your vision can mislead you. The Bible says we see in part. And so we what? prophesy in part are you getting blessed please listen you love god you are praying for a life partner you are saying oh god please bring a lady into my life who will love you who will fear you who we can stand together and accomplish the purposes of god for our lives hallelujah suddenly you come for miracle service you just see natina And now you, you cannot even describe what is happening to you. Mama. <laughs> now Mama is wondering, ah, ah, Aaron, what is happening? I saw this lady just once and I, many of you feel embarrassed. You even cast it. Uh -uh. It may not be demonic. Are you listening to me? Try to establish good friendship with a person. And when you feel you've received advice and the time is ripe, listen. That takes me to the next step. Brothers have courage. Ladies don't kill. I think sisters, we need to tell the brothers this. Say brothers. brothers. We, don't we don't kill. Speak. 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 Say one more time. Brothers, brothers. Don't look at yourself. Look at the brother. Brothers. brothers. We don't kill. We don't Speak. The brother says, sisters, I'm not afraid. Listen. 
There are some of you that kick any guy that comes. Listen, look at me. Look at me. Koinonia, hear me inside and outside. Never. Please. Let me start with the sisters. Never see a brother, no matter how much you esteem him, that he comes to you and then you try to just do anyhow with him and say, Hey, you don't know that shoe has size. You got up. Forget. Don't let Koinonia fool you. I'm not your mate. Oh. Don't be stupid. If not because of Koinonia that is the house of God. You, you, you cannot see your type. You come and stand. Don't do that. Don't do that. The brother you are laughing at today. Wait and see the promises of God in his life. By the time what he's speaking comes to pass. You will be amazed. Are you following me now? I was told a humorous story that there was a time. Bishop Oedeko asked a part. I was told. I don't know if it's true. Please. Please. So I had it too. If it's not true, accept it as fiction. There was a man of God. <laughs> and the man of God said he asked one lady and she said no. He kept quiet. Then it was, there was nothing. Just the promises of God. The treasure in earthen vessels locked up inside. Later on, he asked his current wife and she said yes. Some years later on they were in a program and he saw the former lady now she was also married and he told his wife he said see i asked this woman and she said no the woman walked to her and said thank you for telling my husband no you think that woman will sleep hi the woman will say god no this is how my destiny passed me by many of you want ready made you don't want to pay the price and build hallelujah when a brother wants to talk to you Please give him listening ears. Especially when he comes with a heart of sincerity and responsibility. Even if you are not interested in the relationship. Present yourself in a way and manner that will not discourage him. There are some brothers when they ask one sister since 2010. They have not asked another one again. One day you wanted to ask the girl. She just, she was just, you were going here. She just came out. You just turned as if you want to clean a chair. No courage. Your heart is failing you. Everybody say, take courage. take courage. Sisters, help our brothers. It's not easy to come and stand before a lady and start rapping and talking stories. Hallelujah. It's not easy. It takes a lot of courage. Brothers, is that true? Yeah. Especially when you start giving one kind of face. As if you don't like it. You finish praying in your room and say, God, change my story. Give the brother a chance. Give him a chance, please hallelujah is that true there are many brothers here that are sitting they want to enter a relationship but ladies you are hostile you are rude you leave an impression in the heart of the brother that will injure him it's not fair is that true and then brothers take it easy i know that no means wait for a guy so if the lady tells you no just don't say me i don't take no for i would <laughs> 30 missed calls between Koinonia and her room. 30 missed calls. 5 text messages. 500 Naira recharge card. You have called all her friends. Take it easy, brother. Haba. Take it. Let her think. You say, I can't sleep. Uh-uh. You better check whether it's lost or love. Whatever is pursuing you, run to court. Run to court and go and flog it out with destiny. Don't be a pest around the lady like that. You are going for a lecture. You just say, ah. In fact, you know, I was about to call you. That's how you follow her. She's in the restaurant. You go there. Money that you wanted to go to Jordan Bookstore with. You paid for her food. Now you have not eaten. You are hungry. You've not done your assignment. You are failing. You are emanciating. You are dying. What is wrong with you? <laughs> your roommate say, what is wrong? He say, love. It's not love. Hallelujah. Are you learning something, please? Praise the Lord. Very important. Make sure you are convicted. There are some brothers here. Please look up and I must warn you. Everybody say double dating is wrong. Say one more time. Double dating is wrong. There are guys that have ladies in every faculty every faculty you have a representative 
and they don't know it's not good you are, you are a christian i hope you know that we don't believe in dating are you listening to me in the kingdom there is nothing called dating correct you know what dating is ladies let me explain to you so that you hate it very well dating is that you parade many ladies the bachelor ask some of them out sleep with some of them do all you can do and then start editing them one by one one by one one by one until you find the one that is suitable with you you've slept with them you've taken them out which lady do you know that every lady you see is somebody else's wife you don't treat ladies like that is somebody learning something double dating is very wrong very very wrong praise the lord hallelujah so brothers get close to the lady develop courage and talk sisters be open don't conclude on a guy and just say this is not my kind of guy what do you know about all your destiny somebody you are seeing today that you say may not be your kind of guy may be the greatest blessing in your life is that true hallelujah let's rush we have to pray now let's assume you successfully get into the relationship say amen. amen so you have flogged out issues and you are now in the relationship what do you do please write these are things that you must observe while during the relationship number one practice communication practice what communication one of the number one killer of marriages and relationship is no communication talk no matter how bad issues are talk talk how many of you know that a quiet person can be more dangerous than a noisemaker because if somebody is quiet you don't know what the person has in his heart or her heart talk talk hallelujah see because no matter how anointed you are listen when you get into a relationship are you following me patience come when you get into a relationship now let's assume abel is going out with patience abel stand up assuming come now hurry up hold our hands let's save time please hold our hands smile you too now smile <laughs> All right, come. Now, they are in a relationship. Please, everybody listen. Do you know, every time people come to me for counseling and prayers for relationship, I tell them, whenever you enter a relationship, please listen. See yourself as two farmers. Are you following me now? Two farmers holding a hoe together. And you are going to the farm to go and plow the land. Ready-made relationship does not exist. Write it. Everybody has weaknesses and strengths. When you say you love somebody next time, you are saying you love a sum total of their liabilities and weaknesses. Many of you want a perfect man. You want a perfect woman. You will never find it because you are not perfect yourself. Are you listening to me? Now, Ebe, where are you from? District. You are from Kogi. Where are you from? Benis. Now, this is Kogi. This is Benway. Two separate cultures is that true now they love god they all come for koinonia for instance for instance for instance except otherwise for instance hallelujah she has her mindset that came from culture he has his mindset that came from culture do you know that there will be frictions are you following me now those frictions are not a sign that the devil is eating you people up they are just a sign that you are human beings are you listening to me what is the remedy communication two of you sit down now find somewhere and sit down come md shift for them sit down now we are acting with you Ooh. communication communication talk about it hallelujah the guy does not eat pepper you you like pepper you like seeing the pepper you can carry it and put it in your mouth the first day you made gary for him you put pepper you are smiling ah 
the guy just touched it and a headache just came on him and now the brother doesn't want to talk ha ah, this pepper is killing him he said do you like it for i said come on this food was as sweet as you and now you are you are lying tomorrow you will suffer it again she will make beans add pepper on it she'll be telling everybody you know my guy likes my cooking he likes the pepper funny enough this guy is dying this pepper is killing him every time you eat her food you must have a runny nose brother what happened i'll say forget this everybody say communication. communication communication helps you to understand yourself the bible says husbands dwell with your wives according to knowledge love is not enough are you hearing me have you not seen a lovely roommate that you could not live with how many of you love your roommates but you cannot take that same roommate next session but you love them some of you you that some of you that are raising hands is your roommates that don't love you because of what you are doing hallelujah everybody say communication it will enhance your relationship are you listening to me there are many ladies that the moment you enter a relationship you already have your expectations that only you know i expect at least i give this relationship five days i should visit chicken republic that's what you have in your heart that's what you have wished and wondered every time i'm holding load let the guy that's what you have in your heart are you following me now after five days he doesn't take you out he's paining you but you cannot talk say it so that if it's not godly you can flog it together are you listening to me communication is one of the number one killer roommates that don't talk always fight the only way to know that he's angry is when he slaps you you say did he really hurt you he said it has been paining me why didn't you talk or got roommates why didn't you talk many ladies you are like that you don't talk you go and grumble to your friends and gossip to everybody and say this guy we went to the restaurant sam they were putting the ice cream on the machine chicken republic he just started taking it couldn't we sit down me i hate this thing and you were laughing all through the euphoria of the excitement and the guy thought that that's what you like he will repeat it again tomorrow hallelujah you invited him for dinner he wore one tie the shirt was torn he didn't notice it wasn't his business you tell him ah sweetheart um see when there is this chemistry between both of you you have come to be honest and true to yourselves are you following me now and you can jokingly tell him say you self i'm going to buy you a new a new trouser that your trouser has tried she has come into your life you don't joke you are always serious you are always praying you are always fasting you don't discuss the things you should discuss if all you are doing in your relationship is bible study and prayer you are not helping that relationship okay sister the lord gave me a revelation shut up can't you talk about your lives are you not good what is your best food there are people if we call some people in relationship now you and you what is your best food the guy will say gary is his best food you you say is his beans you don't know yourselves you are that much of strangers who is the holy spirit you know you know what are the 12 names of disciples you know you know when is jesus coming soon soon you know where are two of you going you don't know don't spiritualize things that you are supposed to do to help yourself are you hearing what i'm saying very important everybody say communication. communication very important there must be communication during a relationship number two set boundaries everybody say boundaries paul said the although we are not under the law but the bible says the love of god does what please set boundaries some of you were in the world is that correct and you had relationships where you were in the world you could have sex anytime you want you can spend weekend in the guy's house anytime you want you can bath with the guy in the same bathroom now you are born again 
you have left Egypt. Force Egypt to leave your mind. In Jesus' name. Set boundaries. Set boundaries. Hallelujah. You must set boundaries. Stand up again, two of you. Come. This side, this side. Let's go. So you discuss. Abel, you are a great man. No, you are going far. But you are a man. Say, I'm a man. Part of the reason why you ask this lady out is because you are physically attracted to her. True or false? Please say it. True or false? That means if you get married to her, you will sleep with her one day. True or false? And the reason why you are not sleeping with her now is not because you are an angel or a spirit. It's because you love the Lord. True or false? When you enter a relationship, you are vulnerable by default. Please, are you hearing what I'm saying, believers? What does that mean? You define it. What rules that you don't define, you will cross boundaries without knowing. You can be a Christian. Over 60% or more of Christian relationships have people sleeping around. The guy going to spend weekend in the girl's house. The girl going to from Koinonia now. Today is Friday, I'll be the grace of our Lord Jesus, your load is outside. You just carry, the guy takes you in his car. And he just goes, I was a service. Say, nice. Even if it's Benny Hinn, you watch throughout that night. Sin is at your door. Correct? Say, but me, I, I'm not, I, I'm, I don't used to sleep with the guy. Yet, yet. Yet, keep going every day. The Bible says, and Lord settled near Sodom. He didn't enter Sodom. When they were coming to rescue him, where did they find him? In the middle of Sodom. This is how many people have gotten themselves into trouble. Discuss it. Sister, you are not firewood. Discuss it. You are emotional. Talk. Abel, you tell her. Say, look, I love God. And in this relationship, we are going to keep the values of the kingdom. If for any reason any spirit or anything turns my head one day don't be ashamed this is somebody are you saying it in, in the presence of the congregation please help me don't be disappointed that day just help me slap me or run just do something remind me of my destiny just put a picture of hellfire on your phone do something that will help me sister Listen, and I must say this. Listen, we are humans. Church people are hypocrites and liars. Me, I'm not like that. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Very important. You can't come and visit him by 11.30 in the night. Eh? He just had practicals morning till night. Then you came around. You say, I, 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 was, I was reading and I didn't know what to do with myself. Ah, you are looking for trouble, oh. You are looking for trouble. The brother is already on his boxers. He's trying to lie down. He's trying to sleep. Now you come in. He's going to marry you one day, oh. He's going to marry you one day. You are fast forwarding that day now. You will die. You are there to protect the brother's life, not to kill him. Can't you talk on phone? Am I, am I blessing you? This is the issue. I know we're out of time. We will pray, but we need to talk about this. It's very important. There are many anointed brothers that suddenly entered relationships and they found out that they are, they are sleeping with the lady and doing a lot of things to their own shock. Because number one, you didn't discuss it. Number two, you are not doing anything about it. Hallelujah. Very important. You must talk about it. Your roommates sleep around and they come and they are talking about all their experiences. All those devilish things. And you sit down, you are hearing it. Now it's affecting your mind. You don't know. You think because you are a Christian, it will just... No, it's affecting your mind. You are getting emotional. You are getting seduced by that statement. Before you know it, you find yourself and the innocent brother, because he likes you, will fall victim. Everybody say, I, I receive grace to set boundaries. Christians, I know what I'm saying. 
may offend some of you because it's a kai I beg Jare, your own you have gone to extreme please abba well if your destiny is colorful and you want to get there ask yourself a question are you ready for a child now if you are not behave brother for every time you sleep with a lady see the vision of a baby are you ready if you are not behave praise the lord please define boundaries christian relationships should reveal the character of christ and you sister one day something comes upon the brother whatever it is instead of you to help the brother you now start going around ah, these brothers i'm surprised oh koinonia shut up please did he tell you it's a spirit help him help him help him don't disgrace the brother oh i will talk hallelujah it's very important help the brother and brother help the sister when she's calling you and you don't understand what she's saying in the phone be talking with one ear be praying find a way let your spirit be praying talk about the second coming of jesus talk about the end of the age just say something that will bring the sister back to herself don't go and spend weekend in a guy's house you are not married to him all the sisters say amen, amen. i know many christian ladies once it's friday somebody comes from lagos or somewhere you go and spend how can you go and spend weekend in the house of somebody you are already emotionally attached and physically attracted to you are vulnerable hallelujah you are going to go and bath the brother is watching you ah you, are, you want to kill the brother You are bathing the guy is just singing choruses around your bathroom or god go to the parlor <laughs> trouble if a guy lives in the house and you go you can enter the parlor you can enter the kitchen but you you begin to put yourself in trouble see all i'm trying to say is that create boundaries can i tell you something brother when you start sleeping with a lady i assure you your chances of marrying her will diminish by a sizable factor because part of the things that you should make how make you want that lady is that she's keeping herself and it's supposed to be the blessing and consummation of marriage are you listening to me sister you just open up yourself to any brother he's just sleeping with you and telling you that don't worry in two weeks i'll give you an engagement ring you wait and go and hear what he's saying in the midst of his friends hallelujah do you know every time you sleep with a lady or you sleep with a guy that you are not married with there is a seed of resentment and hatred that comes that's what happened between adam and eve when they went out of the glory of god be careful be careful some of you watch every kind of film the guy is here the lady is here you are watching all okay, please god bless you this be seated you're watching every kind of film when i talk about all those film things some of you think it's not an issue hallelujah praise the lord put boundaries avoid things that arouse you people avoid things that arouse you people and get you into trouble hallelujah you just see the guy you just come and fly on the guy he's on the bed you just fly. ah <laughs> and the brother is smiling as if he's in control of things you better you better start praying you are not in control very important hmm. hallelujah build together everybody say i will define boundaries you are in a relationship right now you have not defined the boundaries do it tomorrow define it how far is far how far is far please define it hallelujah now i'll round up with this 
there are many other things, but we're out of time. We really are out of time. Just give me a few minutes, five minutes, and we're out. Danger signs. Oh, this is important. You must write it. Danger signs that your relationship is nose diving or that your relationship may not work out. Danger signs. I must say this very important. Number one, when you find yourself consistently violating boundaries, that relationship may not work out. Did you hear what I said? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Consistently violating boundaries. No way. A time will come. Look at me. The lady will be so cheap or the guy will be so cheap. They will be like a rag for you. Discontent will enter your heart. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying? Take these boundaries issues seriously. I know some of you feel, why is he talking like this? Okay. Once you are consistently violating boundaries, every night, every weekend, you are coming to his house, all kinds of things. No. Your chances of getting married are being slashed down seriously. Number two, number two danger sign excessive involvement of third parties in your relationship this is very important there are many of us the number of counselors and senators and members of the house of assembly in your relationship are too much too much you have a senate that decides on everything you want to cook for the guy upper house lower house must decide two of you cannot flog out issues this is what is killing many relationships. Hallelujah. There is too much involvement of third parties. Let me tell you something. God is my witness. And for years we've been doing this. Once we pray for people and bless their relationships, you can ask Pastor Jakes, we stay out. Are you listening to me? We don't come and say, oh, we're leaders over you and we're just good. No, we stay out. We only come in if you invite us. Or where we see that guy, there is a need. Are you listening to me? Listen. If your friend enters a relationship, please stay out. What I mean stay out is define boundaries. Hallelujah. Praise God. Some of you are too involved in the relationship of your friends and loved ones. We don't even know whether it's the friends that are in a relationship or you are the one. You are too involved. You can veto things on behalf of your friend that is in a relationship. It's their business. Leave them alone. Please. Go and pray and wait for your own. Leave them alone. Excessive involvement of third parties. Once you start allowing too many people to come into you, they will confuse you. They will make you to make wrong decisions. At the end of it, that relationship will not work. Danger sign number two. Danger sign number three. When you find yourself, this is important. When you are consistently quarreling and manifesting rage over trivial issues, just know that that relationship has entered the beginning of the end. Look up, please. Look up. When Zuera's food suddenly stops being sweet, promise. Food that you used to eat every day. You were lean like you would die. When you entered the relationship, it improved on you. Now you can see Zuera's food is not sweet again. Her hairstyle is not nice again. Are you following me now? Her text messages are not... Once you find yourself edgy over trivial things, your heart has left that relationship. Hmm. Is someone learning something in this place? Quarreling over trivial issues. Do you know why? There is a scripture. We will not read it. But the Bible says, 1 Peter 4 verse 8. It says, I believe, 1 Peter 4 verse 8, if I'm not mistaken. Love covers a multitude of wrongs. Look at me. When you love someone, you will give excuses for the person. Is that true? Yeah, danger sign. I like the red. Media, God bless you. Red. Danger sign. Quarreling and manifesting rage 
You see a guy just comes. This is a lady that before she's your queen. Eh? Transpose, let me sing a song. By two or three keys. You are the reason I'm here. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. That's the song you sang. Oh, don't forget. You are the reason I live. You're the one for me. Smile. And the lady is just smiling. Now, listen. Suddenly, I've got my mind made up. Addressing that attracted you to her suddenly becomes insulting. Everything. Everything. Once you find that kind of quarrel, please, let me tell you something. If you are not ready to marry her, leave her alone. Somebody else will like her. Don't put any lady under your care and frustrate her. Are you listening to me? Sisters, I must tell you this. Danger sign that your relationship will not last. If the guy you are going out with does not have anybody he listens to. Are you listening to me? Don't ever go out with anybody that cannot listen to people. He will kill you. One day he will beat you, stand on you and be stamping you and you will die there and nobody will know. There are some of us, you are going out with guys nobody knows. They don't listen to anybody. Nobody can talk to them. Pastor Jake says, oh, I want to see him. He said, no, please, leave me. That kind of thing will not help you. Hallelujah. When you see these three things, three things happen. Your relationship is nose diving. You need counseling and you need help fast. Hallelujah. Number four. Maybe we'll talk about, we'll still talk about it next. We'll stop here. Because I still have a lot of things to talk about. There are two issues I want to talk about that many people don't discuss in relationship. Number one is on the issue of health and marriage. But we'll talk about that next week. Is that correct? Health and marriage. This has become a serious issue. If somebody is an SS and she comes and she's in a relationship with somebody who is an SS, can it work? Will they work? Hallelujah. And then the issue of crossing boundaries. Hallelujah. Somebody from Katsina marries an Irobo lady. What, what happens when you are crossing boundaries? The place of family and so on and so forth. And then we'll address the issue of late marriage. Family life. There is a lot we'll talk about. How many of you have been blessed so far? Rise up, let's pray. We'll take that next week. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray for one minute. Say, Lord, thank you for your wisdom. I believe that God has spoken to many people tonight. There are many of you that need to change things. You need to adjust things tonight. Very quickly, I'm going to pray. Please pray. We're out of here. Please pray. Those of you who have crossed boundaries in your relationship, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I ask for grace. Honestly. Be honest with yourself. No one condemns you, but be honest. Virtues that you need to build. Teachability. Some of you sisters need to go and work on yourself seriously. The way you are right now, you will not be a blessing to any man. You can be a blessing, Kai, but you are not yet a blessing. Same with the brothers. Lift your voice and pray and say, Lord, help me. Help me. I want my marriage to glorify you. I want my relationship to glorify you. I don't want my children to come and find a curse. I'm tired of the things that I saw in my own family. Hallelujah. 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 Now, when I was preparing for this, the Lord told me to take one altar call and I'm going to pray. Just one virtue I want to pray for people. 
if you have been the lord told me this please if you know that you have a problem with anger and temper i'm going to pray for you listen don't stand there judging the people that are coming out are you hearing me this is a family none of your business is their personal affair with god it may not be that you want it so there are people is this the guys and ladies you just find you can be angry is one of the things that is stopping you i'm going to take an altar call please find come out and come and forget about nobody's really has any business with you whether or not you please come out quickly inside and outside be honest before god come and kneel down here just kneel down line up here a rage and temper some of these what has destroyed your former relationships don't be afraid don't let anybody scorn you please hurry up everybody come and kneel down come out of her right now now devil of come out come out now come out of her come out come out of her it's a spirit it's not your fault don't pretend listen listen don't stay outside when you should be here don't pretend this relationship series is to let me tell you koinonia is a family nobody has time for you everybody has time for their own destiny some of you this is what has killed your relationships you get into a relationship anger rage you can carry anything you can carry bottle and tear the guy's head and tell him sorry later on this is demonic hallelujah don't be ashamed you are a christian nobody is doubting your salvation god wants to help you some of you are very kind but the brother dear does anything you will give it to him from your mind you don't know why you are doing it lift your hands because i'm seeing a lot of spirits i'm going to pray when i pray the power of god will move across this congregation that thing will be broken are you listening to me we've taken time but let's pray our relationship series is not just about love we are setting people free this is what is stopping some people when i was preparing the lord told me make sure you pray against this this is why some of you cannot enter it. you are a pretty lady you love god you are sincere lift your hands everybody rage lift your hands very high because i'm about to pray fire will fall father in the name of jesus every spirit behind temper and rage right now in the name that is above all names let the fire of god move across this congregation come out of god's people now come out come out come out come out that spirit of anger that spirit of rage let the power of God move across right now I set you free I set you free I set you free come out go 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 those of you in front lift up your hands please say in the name of jesus i'm a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb and i declare that every spirit of anger while you are praying it some of you you will feel something leaving you literally it will jump out of you i tell you you just keep praying it will jump out of you say in the name of jesus this spirit of anger this spirit of rage come out of me right now in the name of jesus father i declare look at me 
there are many of you that are in beautiful relationships god ordained relationships but this spirit of anger and rage when you are angry you can do anything this is what has destroyed you somebody offends you it will take 100 days saying i'm sorry before you accept it's satanic tonight be delivered in the name of jesus tonight i declare you free in the name of jesus i declare you free in the name of jesus god bless you please rise up and go back to your seat quickly now the second altar call you've never given your heart to the lord some of you don't need to go too far because you're coming back please don't pretend it you've never given your heart to the lord that's the greatest relationship you must have inside and outside as you hear his voice right now or you've given your heart to the lord once and you found yourself derailing i'd like you to leave your seat and come out here quickly dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 